hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm gonna be talking about kale so we would be going outside to have a discussion about kale let me tell you one of the things i first started planting when i started planting in canada was kale i love planting kale if you can get as many plants as possible that would be good if you want to start from scratch too you can start from scratch with the seeds Last year was my first time planting kale and I just bought a plant from um, one of these stores that sell plants. They were really good kale. This year I started with seeds in um, the compostable container. If you watched um, my last video, you would see the compostable container. I can show you again today. So um, I, I started indoors also this year and um, they, had, they, they had a spindling stem just because the sun wasn't um getting to them but like when they are indoors they are kind of protected right so when it was time when the ground was walkable i just simply transplanted them um outside so what i want to tell you today about kale isn't the transplanting process or anything kale thrives really well they have a problem though this was a problem i realized last year i i like i had about four harvest of kale it was really good then i I did an harvest um, maybe last week. This week, the leaves were cool. I watered, I slept. When I woke up, all my leaves were gone. I kid you not, not a single leaf was left. I'm like, what happened? So I started to research and all that, and I found out that there's something called white butterfly. So what they do is um, when they see kill, they come, they lay eggs on it, like lava, they're like caterpillar worms, they're green, green worms like this. So they stay behind the leaf of, um, of kill, right? so they start eating it they can destroy a whole garden in one night can you believe that just one night so i was careful about that i i try to do a lot of things to just make sure that i had more leaves i put oil i put so many things i put soapy water like i was researching um they kill the caterpillar worms or the green 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 caterpillars right um, and this, this is specific to just white butterflies. They come, so if you see white butterflies in your garden and you have kill, you have to be on the lookout. They destroy some things like cabbage also. They don't destroy lettuce. Um, they don't destroy spinach. But you know kill, first and express, and a couple of my, my cabbages I had there. I didn't have a single harvest of cabbage last year. So, but the soapy water thing is kind of slopey. And then it just makes everything really, really so soapy. And I don't know, I think it kind of affected like the plants. So they weren't as healthy as before so i didn't want to go through that process this year so this year what i did was i built um it's something you can just do so easy you just put a stick here like four sticks then you use a covering over it so you can just put your kale inside that cubicle you could use pegs i um initially i was thinking i followed some things because i was told staples so I, I i tried to get staples um to staple the so they, are, they are garden staples not like the regular staples they're like staplers and they have those pins they are garden staples so but i realized that i didn't need all that i could just use stick and peg so by the corner i just use stick to hold them and then i use peg to um for the corner so today i'm just gonna take you to the garden to see the kill um you're gonna just see the house i built so that's just what i want to show you today how you can keep kill healthy and safe from butterfly worms so let's see. Oh, for those who haven't seen this, this is a sample of the compostable container. You just transplant it in soil, that's all, nothing much. So this is the... This is my garden. This is the piece that has the kill. So if you look, you see the pegs. I just used to hold in place. There are pins here. Pins, so just use what you have. I don't know if you saw that with the light white butterfly pin. So this is color. So just because I wasn't sure if they eat lettuce, I put my lettuce in there. But they actually don't eat lettuce. Because if you've been watching my other videos, you would see that there are some lettuce I have outside. So this is the key. This is what it looks like. Yeah. This helps prevent the um, white butterflies. It's just this. So, yeah. 
yes they think in case you're thinking of i think you the return is really good so i'll show you a sample of my lettuce just so you see that cabbage ones don't affect with lettuce see this i've had about four harvests from this thing it's so wonderful i eat it with bread peanut butter tuna sometimes i eat it just roll with salad um yeah so if you're thinking of planting kale just know that you get good you get good harvest in really short time you can harvest almost every week um you can actually harvest every week even every four days not up to a week it's a good buy for your money really so if you're thinking of starting early and you want something you can get um good reward for easily then i tell you kill will be your good thank you